Call the order the meeting of the June 18th council meeting. Will the clerk read the quote, please? Thank you, Mayor. When we are debating an issue, loyalty means giving me your honest opinion, whether you think I'll like it or not. But once a decision has been made, the debate ends. From that point on, loyalty means executing the decision as if it were your own. Thank you. You're welcome. Now the clerk will call the roll. That would be good. Sixteen present. Quorum is present. Alderman Bourne, will you lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Approval of the minutes of the previous meeting. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Motion to approve. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of the previous council meeting. Is there any changes or discussion? If not, the clerk will call the roll. Go ahead, and one is yes, two no. <coughs> Bill? Thank you. 16 ayes. Motion carried. Confirmation of the mayor's appointments. Attorney McLean. <clears throat> Honorable members of the Common Council, I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Mai Zhang to be appointed to the mayor's international committee to term to expire April 22, 2013, signed by the mayor. That will lie over. Thank you. <clears throat> to the Joint Review Board, Mayor Terry Van Akron, Gretchen Tomes, the school board representative, Lucio Fuentes, LTC representative, and Tom Wegner, county representative, uh, all terms expiring 4 30, 2013, signed by the mayor. Alderman Ham. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd move to suspend the rules. Second. It's been moved and seconded to suspend the rules. You want a quick explanation? Yes, the Joint Review Board is going to be meeting soon, and they need to have their committee members in place before they can meet. Um, so that would be the reason for the suspension of the rules. And this is to review the TIF, TID Correct. district? Correct, to reduce the TIFs and TID districts. Yep. Thank you. Any other discussion? We'll vote on suspending the rules. Dave? Thank you. 16 ayes. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again. Uh, move to confirm the Joint Review Board appointments. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the Joint Review Board appointments. Any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. Go ahead and vote. 16 ayes. Motion carried. At this time, I'd like to ask uh, Robert Melzer to join me at the podium. Oh, I'm sorry. Steve has one more appointment. Sorry. <laughs> uh, to the Collective Bargaining Committee, Don Hammond, Corey Raisler, myself, Sandy Rarick, and Jim Amodio, signed by the mayor. That will lie over. No, it's on that's to time. be confirmed. No, that's I'm sorry. That's okay. We're getting there. That's to vote on today. Yes. Yep. Sorry. Thank Go you, ahead. Mr. Mayor. I move to confirm. Second. Been moved and seconded to confirm the appointment. Any discussion? Is it Clerk will call the roll. Oops. That's okay. Somebody's beeping. All them in board. Thanks. Is there is the bargaining committee going to be meeting soon? There's nothing on the. There's docket. nothing on the docket right now. I was just wondering then why it was being suspended if they weren't going to be meeting. No, it's not. This came suspended. in last. This came oh, in last came, week. I'm sorry. Yep. Sorry. That's, that's what sorry. I thought too. That's why. Thank you. Clerk will call the roll. Jeremy. <laughs> 15 eyes, one no. Motion carried. Now, Robert Melzer, if you join me up at the podium. Mr. Melzer is the um, chairman of the Board of Trustees at Lakeland College, who is celebrating their 150th 50th. year 
of existence in Sheboygan County. So we have a proclamation for um, Lakeland College. Office of the Mayor, City of Sheboygan proclamation, whereas Lakeland College in Sheboygan is celebrating its 150th anniversary in 2012 with a variety of events throughout the year. And whereas Lakeland was founded in 1862 in the Mission House by German immigrants who was settled in Sheboygan County. And whereas Lakeland has, is an applied liberal arts college related to the United Church of Christ committed to educating men and women of diverse backgrounds, enabling them to earn a living, to make ethical decisions, and lead personal, personal, to lead persis, perf, uh, fulfilling and lives in the community. Whereas Lakeland annually serves 4,000 students at the campus of Sheboygan County at adult education centers in Milwaukee, Madison, Green Bay, Nina, Wisconsin, Wisconsin Rapids, Chippewa Falls, and in Tokyo, Japan, and through online programs throughout the world. Whereas Lakeland, as a Sheboygan County's four-year college, is an important resource that provides skilled graduates and interns for local workforce and numerous cultural entertainment opportunities for local residents. I, therefore, I, Terry Van Ackeren, by the virtue of the authority vested in me as mayor of the city of Sheboygan, do hereby proclaim June 23rd, 2012, as Lakeland College Day. In testimony thereof, I hereby set my hand and cause the great seal of Sheboygan to be affixed, done this fourth day of June, the year of the Lord, 2012. On behalf of Lakeland College, we're most appreciative of this award and proclamation, and we thank you very much, and we look forward to continuing on for the next 150 years. Thank you. Thank you. City Clerk, the public forum tonight. Nobody. All right, we'll move on to the mayor's announcements. Uh, the first announcement we have is that there will be a meeting tomorrow at King Park neighborhood um, at tomorrow night at 6.30 at the King Park shelter area. Um, everybody in that neighborhood is welcome to attend and the aldermen from that area too. Second announcement I have is I want to congratulate Alderman Decker, uh, the birth of his son Ryan, Ryland Decker. Last week, eight pounds, 13 ounces, makes my ninth grandson and one granddaughter, so we're still on a roll with boys. So congratulations, Alderman Decker. <laughs> All right, to the consent agenda, Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I make a motion to accept and file all our O's, accept and adopt all our C's, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and file our, all our O's, and our, accept and file all our C's, and pass all resolutions and substitute ordinances. Is there any discussion? All have been born. Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. I would like to pull forward document number 2.3, please. And that was by the Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee recommending file, filing various documents and the action to be taken as an accept and adopt. Uh, I would like to, from that, from that agenda item, from Strategic Fiscal Planning, I'd like to pull forward a document. It was in the uh, attachment, document number 4211-12 and document 14711-12. And refer those to the committee of the whole. Uh, these two documents originally had to do, uh, one was from last July 5th, uh, a resolution by all our persons, Boren, Carlson, Sampson, and Versi, uh, requesting that the fire chief draft a long range plan for the city fire department. And then also the second document originally went to the committee of the whole, and that was the long-range plan for the Sheboygan Fire Department that Chief Herman spent a lot of time on. 
very well done. And he did review that with the Committee of the Whole last year on August 15th, and it was referred to strategic fiscal planning and was on their agenda a couple of weeks ago, and it's my understanding, along with about 20 some other documents, they were filed with no, with no discussion. So my reason for referring these back to the Committee of the Whole, for the benefit mainly of our new older persons, I would like, being that we're in budget time again, I would like the fire chief to again give his presentation on his long range plan for this Committee of the Whole to consider for the 2013 budget. Thank you. <clears throat> Alderman Bourne, could you tell me which documents they are on this, do you know? Uh, it would be on your long list of documents. Right. I think it was the last two. It was 42-11-12. It was a resolution? Resolution by myself, Alderman Carlson, Sampson, and Versi. Right. That was dated July 5th. Okay. And at that time it was council document number 716. Okay. And, and then, then the second one was an RC number 147-11-12 by the Committee of the Whole yep. on August 15th, and that council document was 10-60. So just those two? Just those two. You would like those referred to Committee of the Whole? Committee of the Whole. Okay. Alderman, first of all, we're going to take up two, three separate, and then we'll go back to the agenda, uh, to the consent agenda. Alderman Bourne, you, you would need to make a motion to separate the question on that document and... and separate those two motion motion to separate the question on those two documents second it's been moved and seconded to separate the two documents from the uh, strategic planning committee's recommendation is there any discussion alderman donahue um thank you uh mayor uh, i guess my question would be um I, I had an opportunity to look at the document um Perhaps an update that would go to the Strategic Fiscal Planning Committee first would be appropriate, but I guess I would be looking for the same sort of document from each department. If we're really going to do strategic planning for the city in terms of budgeting, we need to understand staffing, long-term goals, service goals for each and every department. And I, I while I think the, the fire department is quite important, um, Typically, when you do strategic planning for an organization, you want to look at the whole organization. And just to focus on one department, while interesting and informative, and certainly keeping the chief on his toes, I, I knew he was here, um, I think that would be a good document for, or a, a, a good document for each department uh, to present to us. And in some sort of format, probably Committee of the Whole, although maybe strategic uh, fiscal planning ought to look at all of those first as well. So that would be, that would be my suggestion. Well, we have a motion on the Was floor it? to okay. refer. Any other discussion on the motion? The motion would be to forward those two documents. Just to separate the questions. Uh, to separate them first. All those in favor of separating uh, those two documents from the report. Hold on just a second. Let me get that. Okay, this is for division of the question. Yes. <clears throat> Twelve eyes, four noes. Motion carried. Now we'll vote on the motion to send it to those, those two documents to the Committee of the Whole, Alderman Board. Thank you. Um, motion. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. A motion to send those two documents to the Committee of the Whole. Second. It's been moved and seconded to send those two documents to the Committee of the Whole. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. It's a tie. Eight ayes, eight noes. Mayor needs to break the tie. Can break the tie. I guess I would agree with Mary Lynn. I'd like to see it go to uh, strategic planning first, so I'll vote no to the Committee of the Whole and would entertain a motion for strategic. So I vote no. Okay. Alderman Bourne. I guess I re the reason I made the motion in the first place is it already went to strategic fiscal planning and with it was summar summarily filed without any discussion. 
And so, you know, I'm afraid if it goes back to strategic again, it's just going to be filed again without any discussion. That's why, that's why I made the referral back to the Committee of the Whole, because I'm chairman of the committee, and I know it'll be discussed. Well, I, be I believe, and, and the reason I voted no was I believe it was at the Committee of the Whole, too. And it was discussed once already at the Committee of the Whole, so we run in that same scenario. I think we're going to be going through budgets, and you're seeing tonight that other budget things will be sent to committees, and um, that's, the, I think, the proper place to start. So if there's no motion, the mo appropriate motion would be to send it to strategic, or we will go to file uh, that with the rest of them. Hearing no motion, we'll move to go back to the consent agenda, including 2-3. Um, to take up the um, 2 1 through 2 26, Alderman, uh, Alderman Hammond. It's already been made. Including. It's already been made and seconded. But we're yep. going to include this back in because this, the separation didn't. Okay. Um, I'll motion to accept and file all ROs, accept and adopt all RCs, and pass all resolutions and ordinances. Second. It's been moved and seconded to. Pass all ROs, pass all committee reports, pass all resolutions and substitute resolutions under discussion. Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. Fourteen ayes, two noes. The motion carries. Three one, an all. RO from the Chief Administrator Officer submitting the financial report of the City of Sheboygan for the year ended December 31st, 2011. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm uh, moved to accept and file. It's been Second. moved and seconded to accept and file. Under discussion. Um, just a, a couple housekeeping items. Um, first off, thank you to Shank for their hard work and effort and also to our staff in the Finance Office. It's not easy to go through that uh, process every year. And then secondly, the document is online. Um, if not, will be very shortly um, that the general public can go out and take a look at the detailed version. Those of us in finance got a much more streamlined management, what they call the management report. Um, but if you want to see the full document, it will be online. Thank you. Okay. Under discussion, Alderman Bourne. Thank you, Mayor Van Akron. Uh, Alderman Hammond was the uh, uh, audit itself discussed in detail at finance or just the uh, just the management letter Alderman Hammond thank you mr. mayor um, the folks from Schenck went through the management letter um, and which uh, highlights the details of a consolidated income statement consolidated balance sheets their recommendations conflict you know various areas where we need to possibly improve which one of the areas they identified we've been gigged on this for a long time a separation of powers um, separation of, of duties. Um, so no, they didn't go line by line through the entire document, or, but they did go through very detailed the management report and the consolidated statements. Did they, another question, uh, we, we requested them last year to make uh, footnotes uh, in the audit so that you didn't have to be a CPA to figure it out uh, of what the uh, municipal court contributed to the general fund and also what the ambulance fund uh, contributed to the general fund. Did they follow our request or do we have to dig through the minutia to find that? I did not look at the detailed report, but I do believe the contribution from the ambulance fund was part of the consolidated report, but I'd have to look at the footnotes in detail because, again, we just got them last Monday. Jim Memorio might, might know the answer to that. Yeah, they segregated. Any other questions, Alderman Bourne? Thank you. Any other questions from the council? Hearing none, clerk will call the roll. <clears throat> 16 ayes. <clears throat> Motion carried. 3-2 through 3-8 will either be referred or lie over. 4-1 a resolution amending the city employees hiring freeze. Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded that the resolution be put upon its passage. Under discussion, Alderman Raisler. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, 
This is, uh, I want to make sure we, everybody understands it's for budgeted positions only. So if there's something new that one of the departments is coming to, it, it still has to come before uh, salaries and grievances and back to the uh, full board. Um, this is something that the, the board has not um, declined uh, any of the um, hiring freezes to lift it. Um, that was something that was brought up in conversation about um, having a rule that you never really follow. Um, uh, one of the things I think we have to do is have faith in our department heads to uh, determine what personnel is needed. Uh, and by setting it that these positions have to be within the budget uh, allows them to do that. And also um, one, one of the last two points is that um, by having the hiring freeze for budgeted positions, it seems to uh, delay the hiring process. Uh, I know for like telecommunicators and such, when um, it's a budgeted position, we're paying out a lot of overtime because we can't get these people hired uh, fast enough to take over for the, for the full-time positions. And the last thing I'll note is that it was a unanimous uh, decision at salaries and grievances. Thank you. Thank you. Any other discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. <clears throat> 13 ayes, 3 noes. Motion carried. 4 2, a resolution authorizing outside legal counsel to represent the city in a matter of Karen Wilhelm versus the city of Sheboygan Cab Company. Alderman Ham. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I move to suspend the rules. Second. So move and seconded to suspend the rules. Um, under explanation for suspension, we need to hire outside legal counsel to defend this, um, and we need to get moving on that. So we need to suspend the rules to authorize the uh, hiring of outside legal counsel. Is there any other discussion on suspending the rules? We'll take the vote to suspend the rules first. All the uh, city clerk will call the roll. Fifteen eyes, one no. Motion carried. Now a motion to. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move we uh, pass the resolution. Second. It's been moved and seconded to pass the resolution. Is there any discussion? Alderman Bellinger. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, can someone explain to me why we need to hire an outside counsel? Why our in-house counsel can't handle this? Alderman Hammond. Attorney Steve McLean. Uh, this is an insurance claim that uh, traditionally when uh, we had separate insurance, we uh, always referred it to outside uh, insurance companies and the insurance companies would hire outside counsel. Uh, we have not, as a matter of practice uh, and based on our size, haven't handled insurance defense claims in-house. We've farmed them out. Uh, this would be a SIDMIC defense type claim. Uh, SIDMIC gets to choose basically, although they, they can, uh, they would listen to uh, the city's uh, input on that, uh, who they wish to defend the matter. And we've had very good success using Olson, Colet, Gunderson, and uh, Conway in the insurance defense of these claims. This is a uh, auto accident case. And uh, frankly, uh, our office has not handled uh, a lot of civil litigation. We, we don't handle a lot of civil litigation. I, I do uh, basically work for the council and ordinance documents and so forth, contracts. My assistant uh, does municipal court prosecution and licensing and things like that. Uh, so we're not really set up for that. And uh, I think we have gotten excellent product going outside. Does that answer your question? Yes, thank you. thank you. Is there any other questions? <clears throat> Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. Sixteen ayes. Motion carries. Four three will lie over. Reports of committee five one by finance recommending authorizing transfers and appropriations in the 2012 budget. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move we accept and adopt the RC and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to accept and adopt, accept the RC and adopt the resolution. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, the clerk will call the roll. Dave. 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 16 ayes. Motion carried. 5-2. A report of the Committee of Finance recommending transferring appropriations in the 2012 budget. Alderman Hammond. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I move we accept and adopt the RC and put the resolution upon its passage. Second. It's 
been moved and seconded that we accept and adopt the RRC and that the resolution be put upon its passage. Is there any discussion? Hearing none, the clerk will call the roll. Sixteen ayes. Motion carries. Five three will lie over. Six one through six two. Ordinances introduced will be referred. Other matters, 7-1 and 7-2 will be referred. And under other matters, Attorney McLean. Thank you, Your Honor. 7-3 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a claim from Jean Bratt for towing charges when allegedly her car was towed by mistake. Your microphone a little closer. 7-4 is an RO by the city clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2013 and June 30, 2014. The first one will send to finance. Um, this one will send to lawn licensing. 7.5 is an RO by the city clerk submitting a communication from Alderperson Lou Adowski recommending changing various ordinances regarding rules on what can and cannot be allowed on graves and proposing signage be added and information added to the city's website. That will be sent to Public Works. 7.6 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting an order confirming sale and order adding to judgment in the matter of Wisconsin Housing and Economic Development Authority versus Peter Zabel et al. That will go to Finance. 7.7 .7 is a resolution authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute an agreement for access to property and environmental remediation with the U.S. EPA Great Lakes National Program Office with regard to the South A Street and Virginia Avenue parcel of land. And that will just lie over. Alderman Hammond. Motion to adjourn. Second. It's been moved and seconded to adjourn. Clerk will call the roll. Jim? Oh, sorry about that. You didn't want to adjourn, huh? <laughs> you can stay. You can stay. 16. Alderman, can I get your clicker things back, please, up here? Thank you.